Come be a part of Doc Holliday's Rock Splitting Politics with your host, Dr. Ed Holliday. Hear the voices of liberty speaking all across America. Doc Holliday provides thought-provoking interviews and commentary about the issues and actions that are afflicting this country and what we need to do to get America back on track. Get fired up. Get inspired. Get on board with Doc Holliday's Rock Splitting Politics right now. And here we go. And once again, that's the sound of rock cracking. You've got Doc Holliday's Rock Splitting Politics right here on webtalkradio.net. I'm your host, Dr. Ed Holliday. And once again, we've got a great show lined up for you. And if you haven't seen the new pages of Web Talk Radio, go check out our show and the new pages. they got a whole new website that looks good. And we're proud of our uh, flagship company, webtalkradio.net. Now, one thing I want you to know about this week's show, we are going to help you better understand the economy and gold and printing money, central banks, Federal Reserve. What does it mean? What can it mean for your pocketbook? Well, we got one of the world's experts on gold, Jack Haney. We're going to get him on the line in just a minute, but this is a show you can tell your friends and neighbors about. It doesn't matter if you're liberal, a Marxist. It doesn't matter if you're a Marxist because you don't care anything about taking everybody's money, but uh, but it doesn't matter. If you got liberal, Democrat, Republican, independent, conservative, this show is for everybody. It's for everybody that is concerned about their future and the future of the family and what the economy and what the economics spell out for what's coming going to come around in the future of all this money that's being printed. So we're talking to Jack Haney, and let's get him on the phone right now. And all the gold in California is in a bank in the middle of Beverly Hills, and somebody else. We got on the line Jack Haney of uh, Patriot Gold Group. Welcome to Doc Holliday's Rock Splitting Politics, Jack. Well, Doc, well, thank you for having me this morning. Well, a lot of our listeners and people around the, uh, the entire country and around the world are looking at gold prices, and, and gold is uh, hit an all-time high. And, and a lot of people are thinking, well, I wish I'd been in gold stocks or had some gold. And now they're thinking, well, it's hit a high. It's going to come down. So what are your thoughts? Uh, not at all. As a matter of fact, Goldman Sachs just raised their forecast to $2,300 an ounce. Bank of America Merrill Lynch has raised its forecast to $3,000 an ounce in 2021. Goldman Sachs also raised their forecast on silver to $30 an ounce. But if you look this morning, just this morning, uh, 1.4 million Americans filed unemployment claims over the past week, pushing the total to over 53.4 million unemployed Americans. And the U.S. economy has suffered a titanic 32.9% plunge in the second quarter GDP shows. So it's uh, what's happened here is the coronavirus has triggered the steepest U.S. recession since World War II. Right, and that seems scary. And then you look at the stock market and stocks, and the NASDAQ's higher than it was before the coronavirus hit. Dow's getting up almost where it was. And and you look at gold and you think, should should I own gold? Should I own stock? Well, so what, what's your thought on that, Jack? My thought on this is a lot like A. Gary Schilling or Scott Minard, who's the co-chief investment officer at Guggenheim Partners and A. Gary Schilling, uh, who both forecast that there'll be a double bottom in the stock market. No one to hold them, no one to fold them, no one to walk away, 
know when to run. Well, I, I heard Kenny <laughs> Rogers sing that many times. <laughs> you bet. Well, hey, look, if you want to be the gambler, but the feds intervened back in 08 and 09, and they quadrupled our money supply. They printed $4.5 trillion out of thin air. They artificially suppressed interest rates to zero. A lot of the gains we've seen over the last 11 years have been corporate buybacks of their own shares. We know that. And the sugar high was Trump's tax reform, lowering the corporate tax rate from 35 to 21 percent, which stimulated the economy, which led to the lowest unemployment on record as early as just February of this year, believe it or not. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, unemployment was at a 50-year right. low. Mm -hmm. And uh, then this coronavirus hit. And now the Fed have printed upwards of $7 trillion addressing this coronavirus pandemic. And we have 53.5 million unemployed Americans. I know it seems like a recipe for disaster when you look at, uh, they say that when you print money that you see inflation. We didn't see inflation in 2008. So why do you think we'll see inflation with another $7 trillion? I mean, I can't believe, I mean, <laughs> talking about these numbers of money just printed in, in thin air, basically. So, well, I think we're going to see something that's actually worse. It's called stagflation. Stagflation. Okay, explain that. Me, you may be familiar with that, and what that is right. is record high unemployment and slow to moderate economic growth. So if you're looking at stagnant economic growth, which is what many are anticipating, and record unemployment, because Yelp, the review site, said 40% of the businesses – that have closed their doors over this coronavirus pandemic will never reopen. 40%. Mm. And think, think of the mortgage delinquencies, not only residential, but commercial. Think of the businesses that are supported by those commercial buildings being full with the lunchtime crowd, the dry cleaners, the restaurants, the coffee shops. So we could have record high unemployment with stagnant economic growth, like we saw in the 70s, and guess what? Gold went up 900% in the 70s. Well, looking back in the past, yet we see that, and and yet gold hits a record all-time high now, and you, you yep. believe it can keep going up? Uh, I Well, Goldman Sachs, Bank of America, Merrill Lynch, who don't even have a pony in the race, believe that it's going to $2,300 and $3,000 an ounce. And I'll tell you what's also concerning. Goldman Sachs, the day before yesterday, issued a report that real concerns are emerging about the dollar as the world's reserve currency. So what was once a fringe conspiracy theory maybe 10 years ago on YouTube, you now have J.P. Morgan and Goldman Sachs, J.P. Morgan issued a report, we believe the U.S. dollar could lose its status as world's reserve currency. Jack, I'm now, glad you brought yep. that up because we have talked about that in the last few months on this show several times so our listeners know what the world reserve currency means for the United States. And and, and basically, I believe that's why we haven't had trouble with inflation. All of a sudden, that if that rug is pulled out from under America, uh, that that would t tell our listeners why that would be bad. Well, what was once a privilege has become a burden. It undermines job growth, pumping up the budget and trade deficits, and inflating financial bubbles. So the government really needs to drop its commitment to maintaining the dollar's reserve currency status. But when you keep about when you when you think about it, Warren Buffett says we'll never default on our debt because all of our debt is in U.S. dollars and we'll just print more, right? Uh -huh. Yeah, that's, that's the thinking. <laughs> but that won't be the case if we lose our world's reserve currency status. So uh, what this really means, the U.S. dollar has now lost 9% of its purchasing power since March. Did you know that? No, nope. 9%. I did not know it. 
So 9% of its purchasing power. And really, what this rally in gold and silver is telling us, especially the rally in silver, is it's a prelude to the dollar collapse is what is going on right now. And, and I mean, that's that's concerning, and the, but that for over 5,000 5, years, gold's been respected as a uh, stable currency, I guess. Is that is that how you would uh, gold say gold? Gold has been a storage, of, a storage of wealth and a currency for 5,000 years. The old saying goes, gold is the currency of kings, silver is the currency of gentlemen, and debt has been the currency of slaves through time, right? And now, what's happened here? Look at our 27 plus trillion dollar debt that's only ballooning and even the interest payment alone on our debt right the mm -hmm. interest payment alone on our debt is nearly a quarter of our total GDP it's going to out it's, it's going to soon surpass even our defense budget just the interest yeah. payments on our debt yeah I know it is, it's mind-boggling and uh, but that gets us back I know uh, before we finish up the interview, I want you to be able to tell us exactly, the, you know, you mentioned gold and silver. It, it, which one would be a better uh, investment now, gold or silver? Well, with both gold and silver, one thing I do want to impress upon your listeners, you're not buying anything. You're exchanging one currency for another. Paper currency that's lost 9% of its value since March that's in its steepest decline on record, that many believe will lose its world's reserve currency status. So you're just exchanging that for physical, tangible gold and silver. Gold, for one, which has outperformed the stock market since 2000 by three to one, by the way. Wow. So, yeah, gold, had you put $100,000 into gold back in 2000, You'd have over five hundred and twenty-five thousand dollars worth of gold today. Meanwhile, if you put a hundred thousand in the Dow back in two thousand, you'd only have about one hundred and eighty-seven thousand dollars today. Well, no, so, I had not heard those facts. Yep. And as a matter of fact, so again, you're not buying anything. You're exchanging one currency for another. Physical gold and silver, which is no counterparty risk no political affiliations, and can be converted into any other currency globally at any time. It's really a matter of taking the preservation of your wealth and protecting your retirement into your own hands. Well, Jack, i got to ask you this, and, and as far as our listeners, and we've talked, touched on this some. That's why I'm so glad that you're on our show today. But the some people say, well, the gold mining stocks or buy gold stocks or buy a gold mutual fund or buy physical gold, which seems to be in shorter supply now. So what what are your thoughts for investors and for average American citizens now trying to figure out what to do? Jack, I do want our listeners to hear your answer. Very important answer coming up. But let me just take a break right here and remind all our listeners you're listening to Doc Holliday's Rock Splitting Politics you're listening to us right here on webtalkradio.net. We're talking with Jack Haney, and he is from PatriotGoldGroup.com, and he's filling us in on gold. This is a subject that people hear about. Gold is up at the highest level, a record level, and should you invest in gold? Are stocks too high? What What are we looking at? What is a good combination or what should you be looking at for your own financial future i can't give you individual investment advice and neither can jack but we can tell you what is going on in this overall market of uncertainty we we are in an age of uncertainty and we don't know what the future holds exactly but jack has given us some good reasons to look at gold and we're going to get back and hear his answer. But I do want to remind you, we got a book right here on Doc Holliday's Rock Splitting Politics that I wrote along with Dr. Alveda King, Dr. Alex McFarlane, and it's called Bedrock Truths. These are the solid truths that our country is founded on. 
Love to get you a copy of it. Just go to www.docholiday.org. That's Holiday of Two L's in it. Or go to the picture right here on Web Talk Radio, Rock Splitting Politics, homepage here on this show. You can uh, click on the picture, cover of the book, Bedrock Truths. We'll be glad to get that out to you. There's some other books in there we'd love to get out to you. So uh, look through those. If you want to order those, we'd love to get them out to you. Now, Jack, I do want to hear what the answer is of what people need to do about gold. Well, really, you have an opportunity to roll out of uh, 401Ks and traditional IRAs and paper-denominated assets into a self-directed IRA, tax-free, penalty-free, a non-reportable, non-taxable, non-IRS event into a self-directed IRA backed by physical gold and silver. Mining stocks were something that brokerage firms and hedge funds came up with back in 08 and 09 Mm -hmm. because they saw trillions of dollars pouring out of the stock market and managed accounts into physical gold and silver. And owning physical gold and silver represents pulling your money from the financial system, which is the last thing the Fed wants anyone to do. Right. And and so nothing compares to owning the physical asset itself. You have to ask yourself one question. Central banks around the world can just print as much currency as they want, right? Right. Just turn on printing presses. Yes. So why is it that central banks have added more gold to their reserves in the last 12 months than at any other time since 1967, right? Yeah, I did not know that. Yeah, so since Bretton Woods. So you do what central banks are doing. It's that simple. Yep, they're the ones that know (laughs) what direction this economy is going, I guess. You bet. Well, Jack, that that is something that uh, I, I know our listeners may may not have heard everything you've you've enlightened us on the situation and i guess uh, i know we need to finish up the interview right now so exactly what uh what would you recommend i would recommend number one going to www.patriotgoldgroup.com mm-hmm. that's patriotgoldgroup.com we have a learning center you can see my radio interviews my television interviews or call 1-800-974-4653. That's 1-800-974-GOLD. And seriously look into rolling over a portion of a 401k or an IRA into a self-directed IRA backed by physical gold and silver and diversifying your portfolio. That's what any financial market strategist and any economist would suggest doing. And look at this opportunity right now in gold and silver as quite possibly the single best buying opportunity we have seen in the last decade. Well, knowing uh, so much money is being printed, not just by the Federal Reserve, but by the central banks in Europe and really around the world. And and that uh, what you're saying is something that is, seems like solid a, a solid financial footing. So I appreciate you being on the show. Uh, last word, anything uh, anything else you want to say? Well, Doc, I appreciate uh, you having me. And just to touch up on that point about central banks, right? we are in a systematic war right now of devaluing and debasing currencies globally, globally. Mm-hmm. And that's why, literally, the, the, the U.S. dollar, that paper dollar, has lost about 82% of its purchasing power since 1970, 82%. Wow. You now have about 18 cents of purchasing power on every dollar that you would have had since 1970. On the other hand, gold gold has gone up over 3,000% since then. So you have an opportunity right now, and it's the single best buying opportunity we have seen in over a decade. Look at what's going on around us. And uh, I do want to say one thing. God bless and rest his soul, but you may have heard this morning that Herman Cain yes. passed away. I'm glad you brought that up. He's been a friend of this program, for sure. Uh, well, he was a, an unbelievable statesman, uh, you know, presidential candidate for the Republican Party, and, and God rest his soul and God bless his family and his children. 
I, I agree with that. I've had the opportunity to meet him several times, and I know he's a friend of uh, Dr. Alveda King, who is a friend of this program. We've written a book with her before, and and that uh, it's a sad day to see such a patriot pass away. But thank goodness for his uh, for his years in service to his country. You bet. Jack, thank you for being on our show, and uh, hopefully we'll get to talk to you again sometime. Hey, Doc. Well, thank you for having me. And you just heard one of the world's experts on gold and what you can do about gold right now, and he gave you some information. So we appreciate Jack Hanning coming on to this show on Rock Splitting Politics. We didn't dive into politics. They're continuing to split all over the place, and we'll keep you well informed but this show was to take a little break from the politics because everybody needs to know what's going on with gold, what's going on with the central banks and the Federal Reserve printing money, what's the future going to be. And Jack Haney did a great job in trying to help us weave in to what is going to be happening in the future with all this money that's being printed around the world. And this coronavirus is something that's hit the world. The world hasn't seen anything like this since 1917, 18, when the Spanish flu went around the world. And at that point, we weren't as connected and we didn't have the internet. We didn't have the uh, worldwide communications we have today. And for what is something that we've not been through before, we see an effect stock markets, jobs, uh, medicine. We have seen an unbelievable event. In fact, it's still unfolding and we're a part of it. And Jack was helping us to understand what is stable throughout wars and centuries and even a millennium is the gold standard. And that's what he was helping us to better understand. So appreciate you listening to Doc Holliday's Rock Splitting Politics. This was a different kind of show to help us better understand economically and financially what's going on and be prepared for what can go on in this time of uncertainty. So next week we'll dive back into politics, and I'm glad that Jack did bring up the sad news about Herman Cain passing away from COVID-19. And Herman Cain, we've mentioned him many times on the show. I got to meet with him uh, on several occasions. And what a great friend of America. What a patriot he was. And let's let his determination inspire us. Let us let, us let his intellect push us forward. And he wanted what was best for America so do we, and so do you. That's why you're listening to Doc Holliday's Rock Splitting Politics. We appreciate every patriot out there. Tell your friends and neighbors about this show. And next week, we'll have another great show, and we'll dive into the politics of the heat of August. See you then. Thanks for joining us today, and remember to listen again next week for another edition of Doc Holliday's Rock Splitting Politics. You can order Ed's new book, Bedrock Truths, by clicking on the book cover right in front of you on the screen, or visit DocHolliday.org. Thanks for listening, and we'll see you again next week.